Hello and welcome dear crypto friends. A new day in the market. The weekly candle has closed. So was it a good weekly candle close? Is this dump over or is it quite likely that we go and visit lower prices, which we of course all wouldn't like. We want Bitcoin to finally start rising again. So let us as always start with our good old long term weekly chart. That is always the point where I like to start the videos, because if people are newly joining this channel, this is a good overview to start, namely with the long term Bitcoin history, the long term chart going back all the way to 2010. Weekly chart means that the width of one candlestick is one week. So the X axis is the time, Y axis is the price. And of course, we use logarithmic scaling because it doesn't make sense to look at crypto charts uh, in linear scale because cryptos are rising so insanely much that you don't see anything what happened before. If you use the regular chart, we can have a look. I mean, you don't see almost anything what happened here. If you use a linear scale, you know, you don't see anything what happened here on the left. So we always use um, logarithmic scaling. And this is the long term chart. We said a few times, why does it rise like this? Why does it rise like this? Because um, we have Metcalf's law. So the law of diminishing returns. Why is Bitcoin behaving the way it does? It is actually because we have adoption. OK, Bitcoin is being used by more people and therefore the network, the Bitcoin network is increasing in value. The more people use it, the more number of people are using it and the more often it is used the higher the price. This is Metcalf's law. And there is a proportionality between the price and the number of people that use the network and how often they are using it. And therefore, the number of unique addresses used. This is a quite important metric for Bitcoin. And we would like this thing here to just steadily continue going up, which as we see, it does. There is an uptrend. Yes, we are still not at levels that we have seen in 2017 during this peak. But we are creeping upwards again. And I strongly assume that the next time, as soon as we go over 100K, then uh, the unique number of addresses will spike like crazy. And also the number of transaction will also spike like crazy. And of course, this then directly translates into the growth of the Bitcoin price, the long term growth. And yesterday we had the weekly candle close finally. And in yesterday's video, I said it will be important for Bitcoin to close at least at 30,000 or above. Now, there is no need for it to do that because in the March low, we said the weekly candle close was actually pretty ugly. It was a really ugly candle close. And yet we still managed to rebound and go to higher prices. But this time I would have really liked to see a good candle close. And this actually happened. We closed at 31,200 something, which is very nice. We look at volume. The volume bar is looking good. Look at this here. So the weekly volume was really high. It ranks among the highest recorded volumes in the last years. Yes, during the March 2020 low, it was higher. And yes, during the May 2021 sell off, it was also higher, but it's not much lower. If we look at this, this is like not too much lower, right? It's it's almost as high. So this is already good. It could already mean that we have seen the bottom. But of course, we all know that this is not guaranteed, right? This is not guaranteed because even though this candle, this hammer candle is a good sign and normally should mean that we go up from here. It's not a guaranteed thing, right? Because we had hammer candles where the price went lower here, for example, it was a hammer candle and then we still went down. Not we didn't make a new low, but we still went down, right? Here is a nice case where we had a strong hammer candle and then we continued upwards. Here is a very beautiful example of a hammer candle close and then we immediately started to rally, right? But here in 2011, we had a strong hammer close right here in July 11 and then we went down immediately afterwards. So it's not a guaranteed thing that only because we have a strong hammer close 
here was a good example strong uh, hammer close and then bam we go higher but as we have seen this is not a guarantee you know we can have a hammer close here and it immediately starts dropping further so i would like to say that this is a guarantee now that we have seen the bottom but unfortunately it's not a guarantee and and right now we are starting to immediately drop again the week has opened and we are immediately dumping again now let us go into the four hour chart and have a look at why this could be. So we were quite overbought. The stochastic RSI on the four hour chart was really overbought for a long time. So it is clear that we need to correct. But of course, I would certainly like to see this weekly not close too much lower now, right? It should not close near the price area of the wick of this previous candle. So if we now close this week at 25,000 and a few hundred, I wouldn't see this as a good sign then I think we could indeed still continue going lower but of course what does it depend upon of course of course upon the famous dollar index we just take a quick glance to the dollar index and the dollar index it's getting already a meme and when I started this channel <laughs> it was I think in September or something September 21 October 21 I was already saying there like oh look uh, the dollar index is already quite extended and has pumped for quite a few months without correcting i mean it just went to an incredible parabolic rally look at this if that isn't a perfect parabola i i don't know what is it's just continuing to go higher and higher with less and less corrections and it is insanely overbought like the rsi the weekly rsi of the dollar is one of the highest that it has ever been it's in territories where it has only been historically like on average maybe once every five or ten years so this is incredibly high over 80 there needs to be a correction but of course we do not know when this correction comes it could of course happen that the dollar index still continues to pump like a crazy bastard like it likes to do it still just continues for a few more weeks right and of course if this is the case we know that the dollar index is inversely correlated to bitcoin so that would of course mean that bitcoin would go even lower and that we have not seen the final bitcoin low so therefore of course we hope that the dollar index will finally start correcting at some point now and have a nice correction because this would give bitcoin room to breathe and to start rising and if we look at the history the duration of such corrections usually lasts a year right here in 2017 january 2017 to february 18 march 2020 to december 21 or january 21 okay if we take this year also into account we could say until may 21 right then here june 2010 to may 2011 almost one year march 2009 to november 2009 eight months or even this small one here july 2013 to november 2013 okay that is also not too bad and then it went sideways so this could also be a dump which would be not bad for bitcoin right now so the dollar index needs to correct for us to go higher friends i'm sorry to tell this to you but as long as this crazy bastard here doesn't want to stop pumping we will not have bitcoin pumping bitcoin will not rebound and start to go to much higher prices as long as the dollar index keeps pumping we don't even need such a big correction it would be enough if we correct maybe now if we look at our fibonacci retracement levels right if we say ah uh, it would be already enough if we correct to the 0.5 fibonacci retracement level right and how long would this take look it could take until november december january 2023 something like that and then it could continue pumping right it could continue going to higher values the dollar bull market could still be intact because if we go back and look at the previous dollar bull markets here for example this was an incredibly long dollar bull market but it just corrected all the time it was correcting all the time correction 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 all the time it had insane corrections and this time is just different in that it just keeps rising since over a year now without any correction so even if you say okay look uh, we will have a dollar bull market the dollar will go to i don't know 150 the dollar index right 
we say, okay, this will go to insanely high values, even then it must correct. It, it will rise like this, right? It will rise like this. It cannot just rise in a straight line without correcting. And that, that instance, when we will see the first big correction in the dollar index, that will be already enough time for the Bitcoin bull market to begin or to continue and for Bitcoin to go over $65,000 again, $200,000, $150,000. That is all we need. We just need the freaking dollar index to finally dump. That is all we ask, right? We don't want much. We, we are pretty humble crypto enthusiasts. We don't ask of much. We just want our money to hundredfold. I mean, is that too much to ask that we want our money to hundredfold in value? I mean, come on, that is that is not an exaggerated claim. All we want is to make insane gains and all we need for that to happen. I cannot emphasize this enough, friends, is for this a-hole here to finally dump. Do it, do it already. And the time when this will happen is not far away, friends, because as I said, this is just a brutal parabolic rise and we all know how parabolic rises end. They always end with massive dumps. So I expect the dollar index to at least go to the 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level, if not even lower, maybe even to the 0.382, right? Depending on, of course, when it will start. So a correction will come and depending on when that correction will come, Bitcoin will recover and go to new all-time highs. Of course, we could still go to lower lows though. Please keep that in mind. If the dollar continues pumping now for a few more weeks like crazy, then of course this here has not been the low, right? Then we will see something like this. Let me activate the weekly moving average of 290 weeks, uh, which has been hit here in the March 2020 low and which would have been hit here in the August 2015 low if it would have existed back then. This seems to be the lowest that Bitcoin wants to go in wick candles, right? In flash crashes. This seems to be the lowest that Bitcoin wants to go. So if we say, okay, friends, this hasn't been it, the dollar will pump for a few more weeks, then we should be prepared that this could turn out like this and then we could bounce to as low as 17,000 then we would see a massive rebound and then I think the dollar would have seen the local top and the dollar will start correcting strongly because even if the dollar does a bull market it still cannot continue going up without a pause as we said so the dollar will start correcting and this correction will be typically as we have seen 8 to 12 months in length and that will be exactly the time when we start continuing the rally and i still have not given up my belief that this thing here has been a shakeout has been nothing more than a correction and I still maintain my view that this whole thing here is a giant bull market, but it doesn't feel like a bull market. Why not? Because the cycles have become so insanely long that what was a normal correction, which lasted a few weeks, a few years ago, now has been stretched out to such a degree that it takes many months. So Bitcoin is becoming slower and slower. And that means that what would have been a correction here that would have lasted maybe a few weeks in 2017, now lasts many months, even a year. So therefore, it feels like a bear market, even though this whole thing here, I would say is one giant bull market and that this whole thing is a one, two, three, four, five wave Elliott wave structure, which is one giant continuous bull market that will take us to over $100,000. With any luck, if we hit the upper resistance line, we could go to over $200,000. I, of course, wouldn't bet on it. I would go for the more conservative target of maybe $150,000. If we say that uh, this line here has been hit, right? And we prolong this line and we say, okay, it will now again go to this line. It would take us to about $150,000. So you see, it could have been the bottom, right? It could have been the bottom. The volume looks nice. The candle close looks good. 
Currently, the candle looks also okay-ish. If the weekly candle closes like this, we could see such a structure where it consolidates a bit and then goes to higher prices, reminding me very much of this wick candle here, which was very similar in August 2016. Uh, Bitfinex hack, I still remember it. So there was this hammer candle and then we had such a similar structure and we went to much higher prices. So I could imagine something similar happening now, depending of course on how fast the dollar index will start dumping. Well for altcoins here is the total three, so all altcoins excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum. The RSI is giving us a crazy crazy hidden bullish divergence, it's, it's insanely strong, right? We have like higher lows here, or at least lows that are almost constant, but the RSI is making insane lower lows, which is a super strong hidden bullish divergence. So I'm pretty sure that the altcoins are poised for another pump. And as soon as Bitcoin will start recovering, this thing here will go much higher. Uh, the altcoin market cap will be in the trillions, trillions of dollars, okay? We are talking trillions of dollars. I don't know how high it will go, but at least four, five, six trillion dollars. So therefore we are all waiting for the dollar index to finally start dropping. Like, do it already, okay? Like, like, come on, why won't you start dropping? And on the monthly even, this thing is crazy overextended. Look at this, the monthly RSI is now at values uh, that it has reached only like once, twice, three, four times in its entire history, five times in 50, in over 50 years. So at values it reaches once every 10 years. So this thing will correct. We just have to be a bit more patient. And as soon as the correction will come, friends, I can tell you, we will see the next Bitcoin bull run. It will be pretty epic. And of course, we also have to see how the stocks will perform, how stocks will recover. The Nasdaq has seen a very strong hammer candle. This is a very good reversal candle, we have said. So the probability that we at least get a bounce of some sort is extremely high, I would say. We would see a bounce now in stocks. So Bitcoin would probably also see a bounce. And if we then go to lower prices or not, we will have to reanalyze and take another look at the dollar index. But I think as the dollar index behaves now, the probability that the dollar index will fall between now and I would say the next four or five months, that the fall will start, the correction of the dollar index will start and we will start getting a new Bitcoin rally. I would say the probability is quite high. So it's not looking too bad. It's looking pretty good, I would say. We just have to stand our ground now and hopefully the dollar index will stop pumping and avoid such a scenario where we revisit the MA290. Let us hope that such a scenario will be avoided and that instead we are getting this scenario here, which we all like, uh, understandably, because that would give us some really nice gains to buy a lot of nice things, for example, bread or a uh, vice boost or stuff like that right so that would be nice to have some gains so let us hope that the dollar index will start dropping very soon friends that was it for today tomorrow i will make a new update video i'm making daily videos now just 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 think about it i'm going full berserk now i'm making daily videos extra for you look how friendly i am that is how friendly i am to you dear friends of cryptocurrencies that is how I am to you. If you want to support me, I would be extremely happy. I will be very happy for every new subscriber. I'm, I'm super happy for every new subscriber. And uh, we can journey together on this amazing journey where we are slowly going up. Bitcoin is slowly going up on, and on its inevitable path to $1 million per Bitcoin because we all know it's only a matter of time when this will happen. And I would be extremely happy if we go this journey together. Please like this video also if you found it interesting. And then I would say see you tomorrow, friends. Bye.